here at South Shore. It's always a pleasure to welcome you all to worship this, uh, this bright Sunday morning. This is a free and open worship environment. What that means is we'll give you some instructions about standing and sitting, but if at any time you'd like to sit while you're standing or stand while you're sitting, uh, you're welcome to do that. So I want to invite you to stand as you're able, and we'll start with our call to worship. Good morning, everybody. Kathy Sheehan, as you can see, discipleship and congregational care person here at South Shore United Methodist Church. Welcome to worship! We'll open our service today with what we call a call to worship, and that is to help us to focus in on what we are here for. It is a responsive reading today. I will begin, and you respond with the words in white. The Lord be with you. And also with you. If the human body is to live, it needs salt. If the body of Christ is to live, it needs us. If the earthly creation is to flourish, it needs the sun's light. If the new creation is to flourish, it needs the spirit's light. Jesus says, we are the salt of the earth, light of the world. We are God's faithful people. Amen. This is a song about uh, God's faithfulness. 
It's a song about God's unfailing love. So I invite you to just join us with all you got. And uh, even if you're not feeling it, sing from, sing from an honest and sincere place. Oh, 
seeing that when one life ends, a new life is beginning. And that is for Lewis and also for their brand new baby granddaughter that was just born this week, Lillianne. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for shining light into the darkness of this family. And for this church family, Father, once we were individuals, scattered and alone, trying to light our own way through this dark world, trying meagerly to cleanse and to flavor our own lives. But you have the answer to this aimless wandering. You have showed us the way. You have cleansed this body that has gathered. You have redeemed us and made us the salt of the earth. You have made us a holy nation, a city on a hill, a community of faith, that is a beacon of light that is brighter than the sun through your Son, Jesus Christ. God, we ask your forgiveness for the times that we have denied this calling to be the salt and light in the world that you have asked us to be. At this very moment, through the power of your Holy Spirit, we ask that you fill us with your grace so that we may be brighter now than we ever have been before. We thank you for being the light in our darkness, for helping us to be more like you, spreading hope for a better world, a world where justice is made real by your people living together in harmony. May our actions draw attention to you, to the richness that you bring to all life, and the abundance that you share, setting the scene for us to share too. May your glory shine in every dark corner so that we may all taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Help us as your church to bring salt in the blandness of life, <clears throat> encouraging vitality and joy, living in a world that dares to hope for the future that you promise, where all your children will know themselves as loved and valued Pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus, who taught his disciples and continues to teach these disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever.
our time of offering. This is a, a time where we can touch the blessings that God has poured into our lives, where we can remember the places in our lives where God has been faithful. Um, you know, the song we just sang, it's, it's from the book of Revelation. It is about the promises of the world that is to come. It's about God's faithfulness in the midst of brokenness, in the midst of imperfection, that God has a plan, that God has the best of intentions for His creation. And so with our offering and with, with our finances, we're given the opportunity to respond to that, to the idea that God is going to be faithful to His promises. So will you join me now as we ask for His blessing on this time? Lord, you are the source of all gifts. Everything that is good, everything that is holy has come from you. And so, with our checkbooks and with our time and with our whole lives and our whole hearts, we now give back what you have given to us, trusting that you will provide what is needed, trusting that as we give, you will transform us into the kind of people that you have called us to be and that these resources will be used for your kingdom to spread your light and your life into the darkest corners of our community. We ask all of this in your son Jesus' name. Amen.
I hope they're handing those out. Uh, and as you kind of fill those out, I hope you'll fill them out before you walk out the door. I want to invite you to, uh, to stand as you're able and join us as we close with uh, one of the songs that has kind of been a, uh, an anthem and a theme song here at South Shore. Uh, and it's uh, very appropriate today, Salt and Light.